if i was arsenal right if i was edu you know what i would do if i wanted tony i would leak certain things into the media like i would make up stories that he's still a gambler you know <laughs> he's been spotted gambling in this casino whatever another potential 100 million signing ivan tony i i saw hmm. weird rumors this morning that west ham out of all the possible clubs have agreed a deal for ivan tony <laughs> Agreed as, good, like, it was, no, agreed as in like it was not agreed as in like it's obviously mm. it's a rumor so don't it's not from a credible source it's like one of those twitter things that goes around but that kind of made me think uh firstly are west ham that bigger club that they can compete with uh arsenal united possibly chelsea in terms of firstly money but also stature but secondly where would he fit in anybody uh, want do you guys in? feel like there is a larger force of selling in the upcoming transfer window than buying like i think most clubs is going to wait around and see it, it's not going to be a situation like people are going to be waiting to buy, buy players yeah. i think nobody is like no club is like with money is right now lacking players yeah it's kind of weird yeah lot lot of lot of the clubs there's more emphasis to for clubs to like offload players like united mm. chelsea and stuff like that and i think other clubs also know and it's time to for them to like be smart even brentford right like they went and signed a 30 million striker in anticipation that they'll sell tony so <laughs> in their minds they at least need to get like 50 to 60 million like to rationalize yeah. or like to spend more money on another player so they've already accounted for a tony transfer like yeah. i think buying clubs have to be like smart this time like i think this will be the opportunity of window of like a smart To win, uh, smart hmm. i think i think price correction is going on right now yeah. like what happened the last window because of chelsea <laughs> i think it's getting corrected right now i think they <laughs> and they will fold face the brunt of it most because of it of, right because they won't be able to sell because of chelsea liverpool and arsenal both dodge like huge bullets bro like big big bullets i'm not <laughs> like uh, i mean this is this is why it's beautiful right not only are they going down but they are <laughs> pushing us up <laughs> while doing it uh, <laughs> But jokes aside, uh, Abhinav, do you think that like Tony will fit at Arsenal? I don't think they'll ever agree that like I think Arsenal urgently needs to replace Jesus, and I think yeah. Tony is a good fit. I yeah, think exactly. I am agreeing. I'm I'm never not agreeing to that. Jesus like, is a good worker. <laughs> he's a good worker, right? He is a he'll do. Oh, he's a much dude. The shoveling. Like, he'll just run around and, with the bricks uh, and everything. He's not an architect. Like fuck him. Nah, I, 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 I'm like, done. If you. If you like make a compilation of the entire time Jesus has been on screen, right? It will be him pouting like, mm, <laughs> like <laughs> that's it. Like fifty percent gonna be that. Firstly swimming, like, firstly oh. swimming from right to left, from then left to right, then right to left. Then people are standing up, getting down, <laughs> trying to attack him, trying to figure out when he'll shoot and then he won't shoot. But that's a <laughs> weird thing. Like he's not bad. He's not a bad player. He's good. Like. He's, he's not wasteful. like it's not even that he's wasteful, but then it's not like he's getting easy chances. But maybe he should try to make chances more easier. He shouldn't be trying to make it more like too complicated, and then he's missing a difficult chance. You can do something else to make your chance easier, and then maybe miss it or score a goal. But what <laughs> he does is every time he's in a position, right? Instead of going in a straight line, he tries to do something else, <laughs> and then he's in an even more difficult position. He tries to take a shot, which is like decent. It won't be too bad. So it's kind of very weird. You can't judge this guy. I I can totally relate to that. Big with Darwin Nunes. I'm not <laughs> kidding. He, that's exactly what he does, Nunes. And, I'm, and, <laughs> and given how Nunes and Diaz have been performing this season, I mean they've they've been okay. They've been good. But again, they've not to the expectations. Yeah, Diaz is pretty good, man. I, yes. like, I'm always impressed when I see him play. Like he's pretty good. I think we see him more and more, so I can I can see all his faults as mm-hmm. well in in terms of mm-hmm. because today there was one good chance where he could have, he could have squared to Salah or Nunes and he didn't do that. I mean he always he doesn't lift his head, he he doesn't see for the good pass and all that. But to your answer to answer your questions, I, I mean, but I feel have, like he's a very hard worker. Like he's oh, always yeah, he into he it. Both of them are both Nunes and mm-hmm. Diaz. Both of them are. It's just that the output is missing, and I think that's mm-hmm. where I think Tony actually could help Liverpool. Maybe I think yeah. given mm-hmm. where we are and we haven't had Tony, a striker. English striker in a while. Tony's, Tony's like a straight shooter, fan. right? Yeah, exactly. He's a Liverpool fan. He's like fan. a no bullshit straight shooter. shooter. So, and I think that that kind of directness will help Liverpool a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think who was the last one? Sorry? Was it who was the last one? Was it Michael Owen? Do you have have you had an English striker after Michael Crouch. Owen? Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll. Crouch. Andy Carroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy Carroll. Uh, and after that, who? 
Liverpool uh yeah. we basically you know swap jesus and and you know have him in in your uh, in your starting 11 but and, uh, and you know what city won't be in contention for this guy i don't think no, so no 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 this down on hello bro so that is going to make that and alvarez no they won't yeah. be contention so so i think tony will be priced well because city and chelsea are not in the equation no, so it's it's i think chelsea <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, financially they might not be, but uh, according to their grand plan, they are. You can put Chelsea's name against any player, man. You can put a fourth-choice goalkeeper; they are in contention for everyone. So yeah. I think yeah. they are. They are just kind of. They are. They are. They are hoping for this magical marketplace to in open. Any, they sell any gems we can swoop, swoop up in the fire sale or any other club from the Chelsea fire sale. I think Gallagher. Who? Where would Gallagher be good? Hmm. I think he's going to Tottenham. I don't think any other club. Takes Gallagher on. What about Reese James? I mean, he's too injury prone, though. I think, to be honest, I won't lie. I would take Mudrik. I think not because of Mudrik as a player, but because I feel like Arteta has this ability to turn no, wingers. But we'll into... also we'll also get a more humble Mudrik if he comes to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like sure. he'll be more willing to listen to Arteta. <laughs> he won't be coming high. More, more domesticated. <laughs> like yeah. he'll. Yeah. Nico Jackson Nihal for your they'll go back to Brentford and be like take Nico Jackson for Brad uh, for Tony be like Tony originally was 60 million now is 70 million fuck off <laughs> he's a prize on that that's such a waste of space uh, yeah but anyway. like, to to Prague's point i think there'll be like interesting to see what chelsea does and i think chelsea might end up being a feeder club for a lot of these west hams brightons Like and stuff like that, mm. where they'll go in for twenty million, pick any player. The Robin Hood story continues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? Like, if I was Arsenal, right? If I was Edu, you know what I would do? If I wanted Tony, I would leak certain things into the media. Like, I would make up stories that he's still a gambler. You know, he, <laughs> he's been spotted gambling in this casino, whatever. Which is not so illegal. Funny. It's that's legal, funny. but that means that he. I know, but it, you can gamble in a casino, right? That's fine. That's not sports betting, but then you put these stories out there, and then we go for him when the controversy is going on. Yeah. yeah, I think I think we won't get Tony because I, it's not about the ability. I think he's superbly talented. Uh, yeah. I think it's only because of his uh, outwardness, like you know, and how outspoken he is in the press. Yeah. I think that kind of hinders his uh, chances at Arsenal. 